Oh, you never do that. That's true. That's not true. Oh my god, I'm such a right now. You know, I don't. You guys are afraid I'm gonna say that word. I don't want to say that word, but I'm gonna say that word. And because I said that word, you never play with someone. I'm sorry, you just play the word. I can't say blink. You never play with someone. Okay, me. What? That's looking like it. Is that home? Just on the cusp of puberty. That's what it looks like. I'm going to school now, Ma. <coughs> Have a nice day, Joey. My baby boy growing up so fast. Okay. That is just unreasonable to say out loud like that. Well, you can. You can go ahead if you want, but it's just weird. Ah, what if he was a girl? Would she still name after him after his grandpa? It wouldn't be that bad, actually, since it ends in E. Joey, Joey, Jell E. Sounds cute. <laughs> Sounds so cute, why don't you marry him? Because he's a boy! <laughs> That jealous? Oh yeah, so jealous. <laughs> well, you may hate each other's guts, but you got the chemistry. I'm guessing it's gonna end up happening. <laughs> oh, pickled olives. Oh, bleh, not again. Bleh? A glass bottle of pickled cucumbers. Holy crap, my mind's totally blown! <laughs> You're pretty easily impressed. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. That was that was pretty funny. Not as funny as the thing that just happened five minutes ago, but it's still pretty funny. Well, to be fair, the ticking clock is pretty annoying indeed. Too bad. <laughs> oh, suck ball. Uh, okay. A dusty pile of Animorphs books sit here. What room is this? Oh, it's a bedroom. Okay, I wasn't sure what this thing was for a moment. Thought it was some kind of desk. But nope, it's a bunk bed. Uh, go up here, I guess? Oh! Another... That doesn't look like a bed. Uh, anything here? Bookcase. Various books with smudged titles. A uh, memory link somehow. Uh, oh, someone else over here? Nope. Thought I was looking at different sizes of the bookshelf. So, oh, couch. Stand on the couch, get a memory link. Hell yeah. Soccer ball! Break two, three, four, five. Man, that was a short segment. There, another puzzle within the next ten, within ten minutes of each other. Okay. Well. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get this one in the ideal range, sorry. Just short. Damn. Short by two. Better than what I expected for a minute there, though. Oh well. Activate. And now we're pro oh. Okay. By the way, now we're probably going past, uh, past, uh, his, uh, earliest teenage. What? Ah, it smells like roadkill again. Where are we? Ava? 
What the hell is that? Uh. Okay. We've hit some real weird ground. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god, what is, what is happening? That's his next memory. Yeah, but why is it going Laputa on us? I don't know, it's just not linking the memories together for construction. Um, there must be a malfunction with the machine's ADG. Again? I thought the last fix was foolproof for another half a year. I can't believe those idiots in the maintenance department. Look, don't worry, we've already gotten the teenage years saved. They might still be able to do this. Um, alright, but I ain't telling him about this. As long as we succeed, he doesn't have to know. Well, I guess this is it. There's nothing we can do here. Ready to finalize before activation? Ladies first. Man, that is weird looking. What a shame. I was actually looking forward to it. I guess we're coming out of the machine now. Back to the real world. Act 2. Billions of lighthouses stuck at the far end of the sky. What the fuck? <laughs> they're, they're called stars. Don't disturb them. They might not wake easily, but they need the concentration. Oh, back to my uh, doctor voice. <coughs> so, wait, what? We're still in it? Okay. Back to my old man voice. And that's all this old fool knows. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be of more help. Then that'll have to be enough. Alright, that's all that's left to do is... All that's left to do is link in your registered desire to go to the moon to your early memories. Then we'll pull the switch and voila! We'll be on the moon in no time. I have a question. If you could make Lily disappear, that means you can alter this world. Then, can you not simply make things happen and fulfill my wish here and now? That would work if this was one of your one true set. Of, if this were were your one true set of memories. What do you mean? What is this then? What am I? This is just a copy. A canvas for us to work with, if you will. As for you, you are merely an algorithm traced from John. Enough to reflect his likeness, but far from complete. All we can do is to prepare this canvas in a logically consistent way. And then, when we transfer your registered desire to your childhood, the machine will generate your new life, one where the desire dictates your behavior. The result of that would then be written to the real John. So you see, even if we satisfy you, you are merely a read-only program. I mean, we could reset you over and over again, and that's enough. Oh, don't be so sensitive. He's not real, you know. You truly believe that 
Why did you even care to explain? Ugh! I'm just trying to save time. Let's go. Doctor. Is that what I truly am? Sorry, buddy. Yet. Yeah. Ugh, all of our nice work. Wow. Now this is trippy. Playing all the links between all the Johnnies. And can't get to early childhood. Fuck. What the? What the? <laughs> At least give me a warning first. What the fuck is he, a fish? What can I say? I like being a head. What? I'd ask if that's a pun, but I'm afraid you should say yes. What the fuck? Let's do this fast. I feel silly enough in this form as it is. All we need to do is pass his desire from the latest memory to the earliest. Okay. Line up two matching mementos on the edges to transfer the registered desire. Okay, so I need only the flowers match. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to need to turn that again in order to relink it with, I guess, the red. I can move this, grab it. Now hopefully, it'll have an easy time of matching things up here. It does not. Um. Hey, but check this out. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> Seriously, I like it. That's funny. Head knobs. <laughs> Nothing here links, though. I don't see a link. Huh. How am I supposed to do this one? something wrong here. Uh, book. Oh, sh How do I do that? Book. But, really? I only have to do it once? I don't have to make a continuous line? Okay, that works for me. Do it. And soccer ball. Okay, it works. Yep, all of them have been linked up into a single file, I guess. Ding! That's about all the ones we can work with. Ready to pull the switch? You know me. Always ready. Let's see what happens. <coughs> uh, Alright, let's go check out what souvenirs he brought back from the moon. Wait. That's what we're trying to do? 
Oh, I can see the thing there. I can see a shadow of what we're wickering with. Ladies first. Not this time, hon. What? What'd you just say? <laughs> Alright. Um. Uh, this doesn't look right. Huh. All the way back up to old age. This is this is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. Usually there's at least some change. Yeah. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire which transferred, was it not? It was. Oh boy. I'm not liking this. If this is indeed the same memory, he'd be at the cliff overlooking the lighthouse. Things are getting weird. Yeah, nothing changed. What the fuck? Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Ava Rosaline, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Light Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Willie, get us some tea, please. Willie? Yeah. It's exactly. Freeze him too. It's exactly the same. Every single bit of it. What happened? Well... Wait here. I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. It transferred successfully for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if his desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Because he already had the desire! Oh my god. He never, he never remembered when he had, when he decided he wanted to go the, to the moon. He has no, even from the start, he had no idea why he wanted to go to the moon. It's always been there. Perhaps, perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his early memories? But why? Oh my god. The earliest we can get to. Let's go. The reason for his desire is locked behind the error. So what the fuck's going on? Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need some stimulation to be brought up. Huh. Well then. Whoa! Huh! <laughs> what the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Now, oh, well. You mind, River? No, I like this one. All right, let's go then. <clears throat> Hopefully that's enough for ignition. Somehow I doubt it. Wait, where's Neil? Um Okay, let's just go. To the moon, darling. 
Oh, Henry. Wait. Oh! Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. They just said... She just sent that... The, she just sent these two into an adult movie, didn't she? Guess I should go see if anything's changed with John. Uh, okay. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Nothing's changed again. It's all the same. I have to try ignite or ignite it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. But Lily? Yeah. Calm down, old guy. We got shit to do. Um Perhaps something here could work. Don't have time for her right now. Stuffed toy platypus. Here we go. So, did she throw it? Mm. So, did she throw an encyclopedia in your face? Huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Oh, this is different. Wait, I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. Hey, don't squeeze. 